Okay, so back again with uh, another part in my DIY analog synthesizer videos. Right, so in this video, what I'm going to be um, showing you is the chorus. So obviously, this is the chorus PCB right here. Uh, we have quite a number of ICs on here. They're all just basic op amps, apart from we have a bucket brigade device also abbreviated as a BBD if you ever see that come up that's basically what it is it's used for um, things like uh, delays analog delays analog choruses flangers and I think maybe some reverbs anyway right so what's happening here is basically it's it's a uh, circuit where I've kind of merged two two different sort of designs together. The first one was uh, one on which you can search for yourself online. It's called the Zombie Chorus. And the other one was called the Hybrid Chorus. So I've kind of merged the two of them and reinvented this one and called it the Hybro Chorus. As you may be able to see on the PCB there, the Hybro Chorus. Right, okay. So in the next part of the video, I'm just gonna give you a basic kind of noodle through and just nothing seriously musical, just to give you a flavor of what happens here. Uh, all the controls for the chorus are right here. So we have the uh, chorus speed. So we have two speeds, which is done by two switching to do two different capacitors, adding a bit more capacitance, which gives a slower LFO rate. So basically what we're doing is changing the LFO rate. Uh, we have a clone mode one and a clone mode two. And these are quite the subtle differences that you hear, unless I can maybe, I might still have a little tweak with that and change the size of the capacitors that deal with that. And we basically have a chorus on off switch here where we can literally just bypass the whole thing. Right, anyway, let's talk more. <laughs>